Welcome back, everybody, to another day of some Saints Rocket League action. I'm Josh Fundy Pafundi, joined once again here by Daniel Joven. How you doing today, Joven? Doing good, man. Rocket League Saturdays have become a staple here at St. Clair, and the oh, yeah. stakes are always high as ever. And as you said, the NACE Conference Finals, Conference Championship mm -hmm. on the line today. Saints against University of Michigan Flint. Two very, very strong teams. I believe the Saints finished 6-0. Michigan Flint, I believe, finished 4-2. Four and two. Four We, and two, we yeah. handed them one of their losses, 3-1 mm -hmm. earlier in the season. So, team, we have some tape on, but the fact that they're back here in this spot fighting, and we'll give you guys the format as well. The winner of today, along with the other 10 winners of their conferences, will get locked into the top 11 spots into a final yeah. top 16. The remaining 22 teams will play for the five last chance spots in the LCQ, which I believe will be next week. So, trying to get into that top 16 today, and then make a run for the prize money to get to play on land later in the year. Yeah, it's like, this is going to be that one game that kind of spirals the into the next few weeks, yep. month or two of Rocket League Varsity, at least here in NACE. And coming into this, University of Michigan Flint, they've had to fight a couple yeah. battles here. Four and two, so definitely a, a great record for the season, to be honest. Yep. But coming in, they were actually third in the group, so they had to battle through Lackawanna College there in round one of playoffs. Now coming here into conference <clears throat> finals, trying to take down yes. the undefeated Saints varsity. Yeah, and today the lineup is going to be Kamal, Christian, and Quint, the varsity lineup we've come to know and love the last couple weeks mm. with. I forgot to mention it last week. Sorry to Mama Spoods out there. I saw the comments. <laughs> Spoods stepping in as the head coach the last mm -hmm. couple weeks, and I had a long, I had like a two-hour conversation with Quint and some of the other guys like last week. They are super happy. Spoods has stepped up massively in this coaching yeah. role, and you can see how good the play has been the last couple weeks, and a huge part of that is because of the coaching dynamic. They said that everything is just like, he's like relaxed, but he knows where to get stuff done when to get stuff done not putting too much pressure on the player so the, the mix has been very very solid so far and say with the lineup coming together at the right time we saw, we saw the cca run last week they did such a good job of powering through it finishing second so this team firing on all cylinders trying to take that championship today yeah and now i just think too there's been enough time for them to really get used mm -hmm. to this yeah. foods coaching style and you can just tell the the team as a whole this this three man, is different. yeah this three man like roster that we've been seeing uh, Kamal, Quint, and Christian that we've been seeing pretty well the past two, three weeks. Yep. Very, very solid. You can tell they just know how to play as a team better, yep. which is very different from, you know, the starting of the season we saw here where, you know, there was definitely some miscommunication. Just like not everyone's on the right page, right? Yeah. New teammates, like Couple two, ego two plays brand new players coming in and trying to just slot into this team that already had, you know, basically years behind yep. it. Uh, you, you know, a solid game plan years behind it. Now they have to kind of take these new players, use their new strengths, and kind of see how everyone kind of fits together. Yeah. And surprisingly enough, we're not actually getting thrown into a lobby right away. So yeah. with that being said, we will give a quick, hopefully just one to two minute break here, get the lobby set up, and get back onto the pitch just after the break for the NACE Conference Finals.
Welcome in, everybody. Championship Saturday is yet again upon us. Saints Rocket League taking on University of Michigan Flint and Azal burying one off the goal line, as we said, fighting for one of those top 11 spots in the playoffs, trying to get onto land, make some prize money in their pocket as well. And this is going to be a best of seven moving forward. So first team to win four games will walk away with that locked-in spot. Yeah, and already one shot each per team that almost crossed that, that goal close. line threshold. So, so close for both. Started off with Kamal, then moved on to, I believe it was Perma, who found that other shot. As we'll hear, Kamal weaving right by him. Is that going to float in oh. is the question. No, the, the demo kind of blocked us yeah. for a sec, <laughs> right? but it's going to be Christian to convert off of that rebound. Yeah, perfect start for the Saints. Great little swoop in there by Kamal to set up the shot for Christian. And Christian, no mistake about it, going to put that one in the top right corner. And very action-packed 36 seconds, but honestly, that's what I'd love to see out of these Rocket League Saturdays. Yeah, and, and here's the thing I'm thinking coming into this series. St. Clair Saints, they've already 3-1 Michigan, right? And don't get me wrong, there's time to make adjustments. <laughs> there's time to make adjustments, but we have not seen the Saints. We've only seen them get better over yeah. these weeks. We've only seen this team start to work better and better together. And really, I don't see them slowing down, and we're already seeing that in this first minute of the game. Yeah, to quote Quint in our conversation the other day, he feels like they are peaking. Feels like the team is coming together at the right time, obviously. Spood back behind the bench now, helping them sort things out. The mechanics of the game, the team play, has been significantly better in these previous weeks, as you just noted. So getting off to this good start, always refreshing to see, because we've seen sometimes they get behind a little bit. Things, you know, can be a little bit tougher on the way out. But early start, good job so far, and already a minute and a half in here. Still just that one goal on the board. Yeah, Spood's on the coach would never allow the scary scare of play to come <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> It's not Halloween just yet. <laughs> no nightmare no nightmare fuel just like that quite yet. Quint, beating him in the air there, but Gims with the demo to actually start off some pressure. But this defense has been very good from the Saints to just clear it out every time. Not really allow many opportunities to even get started. Just taking these slow clears and you're playing with that one goal lead, but not anymore. Perma, nice roller into the net there. Yeah, great job to follow up his shot there. Going to be his third shot of the game too, so... Really good play against Kamal there, just reads the redirect. I believe it was Christian there, not gonna make it back in time. Michigan Flint gonna even things up here just under two minutes into the game here. And now we'll see which team comes out and able to break the deadlock moving forward. It also goes high to Christian and Kamal. Azul already trying to get one started here. Ain't not gonna let it happen just yet, but oh. so much no contestant on this ball and that's what happens when you allow yep. three players to just pass back and forth and fake you out they're gonna find the goal look at this all three saints <laughs> just sitting in net <laughs> all three really of them trying drove, to contest anything all three of them drove by just at the wrong time yeah. so <laughs> looked a little bit funny there but michigan flint taking advantage of the slight miscue again yeah when those balls are popped up above the crease it's one of the hardest plays to make in rocket league to find that save it's so hard to get a read on the ball parma going to demo Kamal there off the kickoff. Michigan Flint attacking again. And Azul finding the third of the game for them. So they are starting to snowball this lead. That is their third unanswered goal now. Yeah, I, and in probably 40 seconds? Yeah, I mean, I think so. Those happened rapid fire just now. And two goal lead for Michigan Flint coming into the rest of this game. Off starts and already you can tell Azul's getting set up for another play here. Yeah, they're There's trying the to pass. cross court. Oh. Very close. Very, very close and still keeping the pressure going. Hazel and Gims. Absolute shots on net, shots on net. Rapid fire, just like I said. Now Saints, they have a second or two to breathe here. Gims tries to start an aerial play. Yeah, Kamal gonna pick him off in midair there. Take it back over his own net. Oh, driving it through the middle. Very dangerous play, luckily. Nothing bad coming of it for the time being, Perma. Trying to land that reset, Quint, great job in midair to make that redirect, Azul. Going to be back there to play this one over the midline. Saints trying to find something, going to be passed over to Gims. Trying to set up that third shot, crossbar and down, not going to find home Kamal. Going to make the save as well. Michigan Flint not letting off of the offense here. They are trying to put the pressure on these Saints, rack up these shots and increase this lead even further. A minute 55 to play, the Saints still trailing by that two goal deficit. Trying to find some way back in this game right now. Yeah, and as the time takes down, it's always the limiting factor in Rocket League, that five minute timer. Now moving to a minute 40 left and Saints get to really get anything started other than that initial start they had right off the post. Gims to clear yes. it out, but Kamal, there Ooh. you go. You find it off the clear, off the post. Keep that pressure going. Now you're only one goal down. 
definitely not out of this game. Yeah, that was exactly what they needed, Kamal. Great job to follow the shot there. And it looked like they were maybe not going to end up finding that goal. It would have been a bit of a heartbreaker, but nonetheless, they do find it. There is still a minute and a half to play, so they have all the time in the world to operate. Michigan Flint trying to just run off this clock and run Saints out of game one. They're going to get a shot on net here. Azul going to be there for the touch. Michigan Flint trying to collapse on this one. Kamal playing backside here, trying to get this ball out of here. Set something up on the offensive end. Going to pass it over to Christian. Christian takes to the skies. Not going to find the back of the net. Now Quint back to play that back line, but the Saints are going to have to reset here and try to get this one to break out again. I really think the Saints here just have to almost designate someone to kind of like crowd control or some kind of just contestion on this ball because so much time being given to Michigan Flint to just set up these crazy passes yeah. and these angles you are not going to be able to save really. And you're letting three players just sit at half, bounce the ball back and forth and set it up perfectly already coming in from the air is Perma. Christian to get in. That's the kind of contention you need to do. Yeah. Hard hits there. Just take the 50-50. Try and clear it out. Do what you need to to get the ball into that other end. Yeah, and the ball keeps going back to the Saints corner. The time is slowly but surely ticking away at the, at the seams here. They only have 28 seconds to try to make something happen here. And Michigan Flint is doing a great job of just sending this ball deep into the corner. Wasting that 10-15 seconds. Taking to the skies. Letting the ball drop off. Christian, though. No. From the sky, it's gonna get the shot. Rebound's Kamal. gonna come through, and Kamal's gonna be the man to find it. The Saints are gonna even this one up at threes. 15 seconds to play in regulation. Christian, beautiful play to get things going. And Kamal there to finish the job. And Kamal has had such a nose for the net these last few weeks. Could not find a more clutch goal in game one. But how many times have the Saints done this to us in the past few weeks? Too Been much, down too two much. three goals, and in a minute and a bit, just come back find their way back into the game. Sometimes they even take it before overtime. Definitely has happened before. It's gonna sail down from the top. Gims there on the save. The timer, are we headed to overtime or is Azul gonna get Aww. something started? I want. I, <laughs> selfishly, you always wanna see it play oh, with that zero. Yeah, you want a little bit of drama, especially in the conference finals, but nonetheless, you gotta take that one into overtime. Probably the smart decision. Saints now, once again, playing off that back foot to start Quint. Going to be the first man to get there. Now Christian, going to be there for the follow. Send this one into Flint's zone. Pass going to get there. Quint not going to find the angle. Bar down. Ball's oh, not, bar. still not going to go in three. Saints taking a crack at it. Nothing doing just yet. Quint going to be there for the second touch again. Christian going to follow. Still not quite on target. The Saints are firing away at this net, just not able to break through yet. Yeah, the pressure is still set up. Kamal off the oh. crossbar once again. Azul, beautiful save. Great way to put your car in the way there, Christian. Oh my goodness. Oh my lord. How many shots have we seen from the Saints in this 40 second overtime? Finally, there we go. Quint will break through and we must what? have seen six or seven shots in overtime alone. The Saints were peppering away at that flint net and finally Quint gonna be the one to close the door on game one. Saints taking it 4-3, going out in a shootout there. I I mean, that had to be one of the craziest <laughs> overtimes I've ever seen. That was fun. The straight, just pressure barrage <laughs> of shots that started in five seconds after the Saints get the ball <laughs> off that kickoff. How does that happen? Yeah, I think Quint's, uh, Quint's goal explosion took a, it was a good explanation of the overtime. Bang, 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 bang exactly. back and forth. Twin six shooters there. Kamal, look, at, it's going to be 12 shots for the Saints, 10 shots for Michigan Flint, and exactly what I expected to see. A boatload of shots, lots of saves from both sides. Ultimately, the Saints, though, erasing that 3-1 to one lead. It's three unanswered goals, including the overtime winner by Quint. Beautiful game, and as you said, they always got to put this pressure on us, man. It looks like it's always down and out. They find some way to claw back in, and then we end up in overtime. Know. This team loves playing with my heartstrings here. They love to just, yeah, maybe they just love to have that mini comeback story uh, for their own, like, <laughs> motivation going into game two. They're like, all right, guys, we got this. We're the we ones, we're the underdogs. We're the, <laughs> we're the underdogs at the top of the group. <laughs> I don't know how that works, but already getting into this one, personally, I don't think there's too, too much Michigan Flint really has to adjust coming into this next game. It really great. just, it, that was such a close game, brought it to overtime. Yeah. And then maybe if anything, just try to shut down this offense like after that first shot. Maybe yeah. try to contest the rebounds a little bit more because it's like the opposite of what the Saints are doing. The Saints are letting that initial shot get set up. Michigan Flint here, they're allowing all the shots to come through yeah. and just saving them on that last Whoa. second opportunity Gims comes flying in trying to hit that one but just gonna whiff that ball there Maul sending it to the ceiling 
dropping right back down the middle to set one up for Michigan Flint here. Okay, thankfully the Saints were able to clear that one. They must have misplayed that ball seven times in their own end just now. They could not decide who wanted to get the touch. Kamal across, almost going to go in off the back of Christian's car, but it's not going to find the net. Now Christian going to be able to make some kind of play out of the corner. Oh, what a pinch pass. Kamal couldn't cut the angle. That was an absolute bullet toward the middle, but they weren't going to find home just yet. Michigan Flint going to go on the counter attack here. Christian, though, waiting and ready for it. Takes to the sky. It's Quint trying to find that second little touch. Not going to get there just yet. So we are still scoreless through a buck 20 here. Kamal just trying to change things, but nothing doing quite yet. Oh, it's already been almost a minute 30 in this game. It was like barely seen anything happen yet. Just shots back and forth and one or two opportunities. But already you see how almost dead even these teams are. Just each of them has a very slightly unique style of play. And both of them are almost countering each other perfectly coming in on these offensive plays here. Yeah, the pace of play has been superb for both sides, and that's what I think they're, you said they're playing kind of even. They're both just playing so mm -hmm. fast, and I mean, to a degree, kind of recklessly, if you watch some of these defensive possessions, but that makes for a very fun, a very entertaining game. It leaves a little, a couple openings here and there to make some crazy plays, so both teams, again, a little different from last game. We saw tons of shots last game as well, but the scoreboard was a little bit more filled out at this time, and now just about to hit that halfway point of game two. Nothing yet, Camaldo trying to change it. Not going to find it. Christian going to be there waiting in the wings. Good pop shot to the corner. Not going to find home. And Michigan Flint going to try to clear this one out. But the Saints are still trying to pressure. Christian. Quentin Christian not going to find it. Michigan's making one more save. Kamal, though, once again denied by the crossbar. The Saints are firing on all cylinders. Just cannot find the net. The shots are so, so close. We've seen Michigan Flint have a few super close ones as well. And I think it's going to be that first team to break the scoring barrier uh, is going to take this home. The shots are just going to land after that. That's going to get the momentum started in this game. I'm calling it here and now. First goal uh, takes this game. It does feel sort of like that. But as we know, you have the Rocket League curse among you, my friend. Every time we try to call a series, it's either game five, it goes to overtime, something weird, wacky happens, whether it was the South Carolina incident or otherwise. Something always seems to happen one way or the other. The Saints, though, they're not going to read too much into that. They're going to try to play this one out, try to find this first goal. And there's still nothing on the scoreboard. We've seen so many offensive chances, but either team locking in on defense so far. Christian trying to make some play up the backboard. Kamal going to be waiting for it. Takes to the sky. Try to get the reset dodge. Still has possession. Oh, still working it. Not going to find the net. Quint going to be there. Also denied by Azel. The Saints, again, so many shots and just getting the door closed over and over by Michigan Flint so far. How is this game? Game zero, 0 I have no idea. We're a minute 25 left in this game, ladies and gentlemen, and already there's been nothing on the board. Probably eight or nine shots already from the Saints. A few coming through for Michigan Flint as well, but Michigan has been perfectly fine just playing this defense, keeping the shutouts, and then taking the one or two solid shots they can when they can. And there's the first one, Quint gonna find it no more Jamiro to be found as well I did just notice that but just Quint, Quint. <laughs> just Quint now coming through there's the angle to the left there and just tripping up the defenders that much to be able to find that goal let's see if my prediction is right and that goal is gonna snowball into the game to win here for the Saints for our sakes, let's hope so. But realistically, we know how Rocket League is and how it can be. Would not be surprised to see a goal for either side come through in the next yeah, five, 10 seconds, depending how crazy it's gonna get. So the Saints still have a minute to kill off this clock, still trying to play this offensive pressure, try to keep Michigan on that back foot, keep these rotations long. Michigan trying to start the outbreak here. They're gonna get a little bit of time, gonna take the disguises, Azul. Great job there by Kamal to make a read on that one. Just take that one out of the corner. Keep that one goal lead for the Saints intact. Now Christian. Taking to the skies as well. Just gonna pass it back to one of his teammates, but Quint wasn't gonna get there in time. Michigan Flint gathers possession, tries to make the play. Reset flick's gonna come through. Quint trying to clear this one off the goal line. Christian will be the man to finally get it out of the zone for the time being. 20 seconds to play. Yeah, I think Saints could really just play the time here. Take a few more lob shots, really just run down that clock as much as possible. And you're already seeing it. Full contestion on these balls. Go for every single one. Send it back to that orange zone because the time is going to run away from Michigan Flint here. And now all you got to do is make this ball tap the ground at zero. And that is going to be game two coming for St. Clair College. Probably one of the most exciting and also yeah. low scoring games we have seen right. this entire season. That might be the most exciting one nothing game we've ever cast. <laughs> this series has been on an absolute blitz pace so far. The Saints 
13 shots. shots. Michigan Flint ending up with five, ending up wow. with eight saves on 50 or 13 shots, though. So you do the say. math, very high save percentage. The Saints <laughs> wasn't for lack of trying. They were trying to bury that ball. But the defense of Michigan significantly stepped up from that first game. It held them in that game. I mean, one goal on, fifth, on 13 shots. You're feeling damn good about yourselves there. But the Saints ultimately did find game two. And this yeah. has been a breakneck pace. I'm already getting tired just after two games. If you're Michigan, you can't even feel bad about that it's one. Tough. I mean, you're playing nothing but lock down defense 13 shots come through you only let one of them in you really can't feel bad about that one you gotta just take that defensive pressure okay you know you can play the defense well go back to that first game and take those offensive opportunities that you were able to find yep. and Irma to try and do that gonna be contested by Christian though yeah that's one of the trickiest things in Rocket League is knowing when to pick your spots try to go for that counter attack and knowing yeah okay we have to lock down the defense we're probably gonna get a couple rebounds against this year demo gonna go through in the net Michigan trying to find something huge bump as well by Perma but not gonna get anything out of it thankfully Kamal gonna be there for the touch back for the Saints net though Christian gonna be there for the touch very dangerous play against the post Michigan Flint still attacking ball somehow not in Ow. off of the Michigan Flint car as well not gonna find the back of the net now Christian and Quint trying to hook up on the other end. Quint off of the crossbar. Second touch not going to be found. The Saints and Michigan Flint once again back and forth, back and forth, trying to break this deadlock. Christian trying to get it going, but nothing just yet. Yeah, just had a little too little boost, I guess, there to get anything really started. Just going to have to drop to the ground and trade possession for a sec here. And there's the Whoa. slow ones from Michigan Flint that so often find themselves hitting the back of that net because... Sometimes it's the slow balls that are the hardest to stop. You know, same thing coming in from baseball, right? Sometimes it's those slow the lock curveballs, man. Right? Exactly. Yeah, you get, you get caught looking like a fool swinging out of your pants on the curveball. It's exactly the same thing, that pace change that can really kill people. You see it in every single sport. You're always expecting, especially this series, both of these teams are going 100-0 to regardless of the occasion. Christian and Kamal, though, a little bit too aggressive there on the wall. Going to bump each other, a little friendly bump, but... Not going to matter. Michigan Flint going back the other way, trying to get some kind of one-timer going. Not going to be able to link up, though. Perma going to be there to play that one at mid. No boost to follow. Christian and Kamal once again are going Quint. Second double commit in a very short amount of time. A little bit concerning for the Saints. Quint somehow going to get the save with the tail end of the car there. Michigan Flint, golden opportunity. Door gets closed once again. And here we are two minutes in, a million shots and still no goals. I mean, how does this keep happening? Hi, uh, Jobin. This has got to be such a close series, such a close game coming through once again. Shots, I want to say they're, they might even be more on the side of University of Michigan Flint today. And that's going to be Azel finding the first one for them, opening it up, opening up the floodgates to who knows how many more right. goals might be scored. Yeah, it does feel like it's like the dam breaking. Once one goal goes through, you start to see the leak. A couple cracks like to show, and then this will end up being a 5-4 game somehow by the end of it. I mean, we've still got half a Rocket League game to go. We're barely into this one. Yes, it felt slow, but nowhere near as slow or as tight as that second game. And oh, there it is, oh. Christian, with those little maneuvers in oh the my corner. Goodness. Look at this. Passes it over to Quint, but Quint just a little too far forward for that one. Kamal trying to keep it in play here for the Saints. Still going to leave it to Christian. There's the rebound coming through, but it's actually Perma who's going to be able to take that. Oh. Tries to get a pass off. Back down to Quint, though. Quint's got this purple and green going. I love it. Reminds me of the Joker coming in here. Yeah, maybe a little Batman flavor for the kid on uh, on Devil's Night here on the St. Clair broadcast on the day before 29th. All oh, Gims, great shot on net there. Quint going to knock that one away. U Michigan realizing they're probably going to need a second goal to end up icing these Saints trying to find it now so they can just play with that lead try to run off that clock as best as possible because they know from game one it ain't over until it's over i think 15 seconds was the marker when they tied it up before so trying to find that goal to try to ice away the saints are going to get a couple good cracks at the net gims might get a shot here going to go just wide right perma going to be there to try to play it going to be kamal winning that one out though trying to take this one off the wall now waiting for one saint to possibly get over there try to make a play christian not going to get there quite in time though looks like the floodgates have not been open <laughs> as this is once again turned into another low scoring game here. 1 0 coming into a buck 20 left in the game. Quint, does a pass come out? Perma oh. just barely gets in there. The demo comes oh. through and the save is good. Perma, you just clutched up for your team right there. That was massive demo and save. Christian probably had zero boost there, just tried his best to get that crawler over. Couldn't find the touch. Now a minute still to play. Kamal going to play that one out to the far corner. Quint waiting in the wings there trying to make some play. Gims is going to get demoed. Quint 
Going to be the aggressor. Perma is going to win that 50, though. Going to get the second touch. Might be able to find the net. Christian going to dig that one out at the last possible second, trying to keep the Saints alive here with 45 seconds to go. Perma has really been the catalyst whoa, in this whoa. game here. What? Uh, that was a, a pinch. We need to see the replay. Was that a pinch <laughs> off of UMF? Let's see. Kamal, at the back of the car of UMF, and Christian, right place, right wow. time. 41 seconds left, finds the equalizer, man. Of course, that's the kind of goal that's going to even the game up. Why not? Of course it is. And now, 40 seconds left. We could see another overtime here, or... <laughs> Let's pray for it. We could see another zero second goal coming <laughs> through. We love to see those. They keep the hype alive. Now, 1-1, one, one, dead even. This is anyone's game, 25 seconds left. And this is huge implications for this series as well. St. Clair's able to somehow ice this game away. It's going to be a 3-0 lead, putting Michigan on reverse sweep territory, on reverse sweep grounds. Oh, ball's gonna go to the wayside. Quint not able to find the touch, Kamal. Gonna be there for the shot. Ball careens back toward the net, though. Second touch, not gonna go through. Quint or Christian trying to just play that one out. Back toward the Saints net now. They maybe get one or two more cracks at this one, depending. Kamal and Christian trying to find it, but we are going to be going back to overtime. As I said, Michigan drops this one. It'll be reverse sweep territory for this conference championship. Yeah, the floor touch is good, and here we are back in overtime. This time, though, much, much low scoring game. No 3-3s three yeah. to be found here. We're down at 1-1. One, one. Game three here. The longer these teams play against each other, the closer it feels right? like it gets. <laughs> each of them just kind of learning you know, the intricacies of the other team's play. Christian sending it high. Can you get the pass to Quint off? Good. Oh, Perma. Perma, you are a god. <laughs> Perma on demon time. Just before Halloween, Quint, no boost to find the angle. And after this game ends, regardless of the outcome, every game will have been a one goal game after the fact. Two overtime games, and then the first game being four to three as well. Quint trying to find the angle here. UMF playing it back into their own end. You can just feel the tension starting to build. Both of these teams realizing what is at stake here. Not wanting to go through that LCQ. UMF back into the Saints end. See which team wants to try to reset here. Able to find that second, third touch and eventually find the back of the net. I mean, we've seen Azul and Gims play phenomenally in those first two games as well. But coming into game three here, Perma is the one holding this team he together. Saved the game. They would not be in overtime yep. right now if it wasn't for that. Even before the fact, so many more goals would have gone in yep. from the Saints. If it wasn't for Perma with those absolute goal line pixel away saves. And now Perma going to get some offensive opportunities started. Gims to meet him in the air back towards the center. Kamal sends it high. Azul, can you convert off of this? Not going to be good. Cleared back out towards Michigan to inside. Yeah, and I think I saw Perma had five shots, four saves. This guy is getting it done at all phases this game, though. However, still a buck 45 into overtime now. No goals have come through. The golden goal sitting on the line here. Christian, good shot at the net. Second touch, not going to quite be there. Kamal going to get beat to the ball. Their game's making that earlier save. Azul trying to size up Kamal in the corner here. Kamal trying to go for the little fake there. Not going to buy it, though. Christian and Quint hanging out on this back line. Trying to make some play Azul though, doing a great job digging that one deep. Gonna find the demo as well. Michigan flint ball toward the crossbar, not gonna find the net. Come on, not gonna get maybe the touch he quite wanted there. Gim's gonna be the one to play it there. Back toward the opposite Saints corner. Quint, the man out of the net to try to get this play. UMF though just keeps sending this ball right back toward the Saints nets and making them try to play off defense. Yeah, and as you can see here, neither team giving an inch. Nobody is going for those aggressive plays that we saw in the first game. Oh yeah, you can see. <laughs> series. Yeah, not, no, neither team wants to give this up. We're now two and a half minutes into overtime and it's been an absolute deadlock on this ball. Few shots back and forth, but you know, nothing really even to get super close to the net to speak of. Just a lot of posts, a lot of crossbars. And that's why, yeah, these games, it just always feels like you never know how it's gonna end. You never know what's gonna happen. You just feel like something weird is gonna happen. It's Halloween weekend. They all, the, <laughs> the devils are out to play. Something scary is probably waiting in the wings here. We are now three minutes into overtime. Both these teams, massive game, trying to still find the second goal of the game for either team. We've seen a really good back and forth. Both teams have had their fair share of chances. Just nothing able to convert yet. Christian, though, still trying to bury that one for the Saints. Kamal going to be there to play it off the wall. Trying to get some pass over the middle. Christian, though, retreating to get boost for the time being. He is going to get the follow now, though. Just going to be a little bit high of the crossbar. Kamal waiting back in this midfield zone. Quint going to get knocked past him by Gims. Kamal going to be there to read that one in front of the net. UMF, though, is starting to threaten. Kamal, or Christian, is going to make the save. Can the second touch come through? UMF. A little bit too clustered there to make a play on the ball. Saints are going to get away now. Yeah, beautiful aggression there from Christian to go straight back in, pop it right over those defenders. 
Kamal is here for the defense. Saints aren't going to be too, too worried. But, I mean, the story of this game has just been shot just a bit too high. Right. <laughs> <laughs> just a bit too far to the left. <laughs> just a bit wide. No shot really going to make that mark on the net. Now it's Irma coming in from the oh. air. Two Saints defenders are ready, though. Kamal on the save. Four minutes. We're about to hit longer than the game Jeez. itself coming into here. And you can just see I mean, how strong both of these teams yeah. are. This is this is a mental battle as much oh, yeah. as it is mechanical. At this point, though, the Saints finally break the deadlock. Four minutes and 17 seconds into overtime. Almost 10 minutes of Rocket League played to finally find that second goal. Christian, massive demo in the net there to open the floodgates for Kamal. Saints are going to find that goal. Find themselves on series point and conference championship point now. I mean... Yes, this is a 3-0 series currently. Does not feel like no. it. Does not feel like it. Michigan Flint, I mean, you're down and out. You might have to make this reverse yeah, sweep close. right now. But, man, can you feel good about your play Look today. You are still again. playing so, so solid. Perma and Quint sitting up there oh, each at seven shots apiece. Look at those four saves from Perma as well. 700 points just keeping wow. the team together. Oddly enough, though... Not too much else on the scoreboard to speak of <laughs> Quinn. He's just letting those shots yeah. rip and letting Kamal and Christian play the rest of the defense. I think that's usually what they do too. Quint mm -hmm. is usually that guy who's up at front. He's able to make those crazy plays. I mean, we've seen Kamal and Christian very capable, but they're usually the ones to send it to the corner. They're usually good at making those pinch passing plays to the middle, trying to set Quint up. But we are now on to game four. Saints looking to win one more game to win the NACE Conference Championship, move into that top 16 worry-free, and send UMF packing to LCQ. Not to mention, take the championship in a 4-0 sweep. Wow, Saints have made the absolute run in Nace this season. Gimzo trying to shut that down. Yeah, UMF trying to get back in this series. And the tricky thing is, you can't get all those games back at once. So while you want to try to win this series in one game, you have to take it game by game. Try to pick the Saints apart minute by minute here. You don't want to get too ahead of yourselves. And for the Saints, that also can mean if you're able to get a one to two goal lead kind of early here, you might be able to kind of throw UMF off their game a little more. They're going to try to find a Kamal, Ooh. just going to get denied by games. Christian going to be the one to return that one over to the side there, but almost threatening early, but nothing quite yet. And from up high, double touch, not going to be good though. Car spinning just a little too wild. Out to the corner, Kamal's going to meet it there. It's Christian to set up another pass. Off the backboard, back over to Kamal. They're setting out up towards the middle. Here's Quint from the skies. Not a lot of boost, though. Does get the reset. Not going to find the back of the net, though, Kamal. Not going to get that second touch as well. Christian hopefully wins this 50. Not a lot of Saints back toward the net there. Kamal going to have to make a play here, and he's there not going is. to be able to. They got a little bit too aggressive trying to force the action. Azul going to punish, and exactly what the doctor ordered from UMF to try to, like I said, minute by minute, eke their way back into the series. Kamal just a little too Late there, fraction of a second, and now 3.45 left. Flint, you found yourself the lead once again, but can you find that decisive second goal that seems to just be the absolute winner of so many of these series? Yeah, goal number two seems to be, yeah, the golden goal, so to speak, so far. Both of the overtimes going to, I believe, that score as well, and every game, I think, has been a one-goal game so far, so we know how tightly matched both of these teams are. UMF did take that early lead. Saints now with lots of time to answer, though. And knowing them, they're going to wait till about 55 seconds to find the answer. We're going to end up back in an eight-minute overtime, and we'll have to see who comes out on top. But UMF, they're looking to build off this lead, take game four here, and keep this series going. Uh, and I didn't get anything really started there. Azul has really been the one to set things up for the rest of his team, at least in this game specifically. Quint, though, demo on Gim's going to give him just a little bit longer to breathe. He's now back up and on the pitch. I mean, in trying to get a pass started, but not too much to speak of. Just so much back and forth in these corners right now. Yeah, honestly, this has been, even for just like the corner dump and chasing, this series has just been so entertaining to watch. The ball just has not stopped moving the entire game. The Saints trying to go on the counter attack. Now Kamal and Quint trying to find something on the breakout here. Not going to find it for the time being. Kamal going to send that one far side. Trying to make a play off the wall here. Still has possession. Trying to play that pace change game. Pass will be intercepted over the middle. No, that Quint there to follow. Only 20 boosts to play with. Going to find the first touch. Not going to be able to find the second. One of the Saints is going to, though, and it's going to be Christian. Evening things up with two and change to play. And the Saints now starting to breathe down Michigan Flint's neck, trying to slowly squeeze them out of this game four. 
yeah, like I've said before, Flint, they lock down the initial shots, find that perfect angle and find the shot. St. Clair College, they're fine to just play with the rebounds. They're fine yeah. to get as many shots in. Quantity over quality yeah. <laughs> is the name of the game here with the Saints today. Quint is going to clear that one off of Gibbs' hood, now being able to take it to the skies themselves. Perma with a nice contestion there. Back to Kamal, back to Quint in the middle. Gims flying in. He's been very good on the contention as yeah. well this game. Yeah, he's been great at holding possession for UMF, getting the ball back from the Saints, working on those steals, digging the ball out of the corners, and then Perma locking things down defensively. Azal has been the one to kind of break out offensively this series. Perma, though, going to get a decent shot toward the net there. Quint going to be there to play that one away. He's going to demo him for his trouble, though. A little revenge tour. Kamal is going to buy Quint some time to get back on the pitch here. Christian going to get the shot just wide left of the net. Perma going to be the one to play it next. It looks like it's going to be Gims or Azal. Quint waiting in the wings. Kamal, once again, a little back and forth here. Both these teams realizing how close this is. Kamal and Quint, though, hooking up for the goal lead. 125. The Saints, they only have 85 seconds left to close out Michigan Flint in a 4 0 sweep. Yeah, and that's what Quint and Kamal have been trying to get set up yeah. all game yeah. there. And a lot of the times it's just been Quint in the air instead of on the ground. And sometimes you just got to switch it up a little bit. You get that passing play started from the ground and the angle switch up is just gonna squeak past those yep. defenders. Find that second goal. Now you've got the lead and you've only got a minute you gotta run down on this clock, but they're not interested in that. They're trying to stretch this lead as far as possible. The goal attempts are gonna keep coming through from the Saints here. Christian letting that one get a little bit too close for comfort, but nonetheless was ready for the save. Now Kamal, second man to find the touch there. Going to feed it up once again to himself on the wall. Trying to kill this clock, maybe find that third goal. Trying to put the dagger in UM Flint's heart, send them down to LCQ. Kamal and Christian still just working this ball in the corner, keeping it in there, running this clock down. UMF going to have to try to make something happen relatively soon. Kamal going to win the 50 out of the air. Ball is just going to miss the net. Quinton Christian, though, over the middle. Beautiful play. All three members getting involved. Tic-tac-toe on the goal line. The Saints, that might just be the dagger they were looking for. 36 seconds left. They are knocking on the door of a conference championship. Did you see how clean that setup was from Quint? Missed the clean. One, two, three from the Saints there. And that's the teamwork we were talking about before this series got started. That's the work Smoots has been putting in in that coaching slot. Just really rounding this team out so, so well now. And with two goals ahead, Saints can kind of relax in this last 20 seconds. They're about to sail into a NACE conference final victory. Yeah, they're trying to match the Call of Duty team's performance. From, I believe it was Wednesday or Thursday there. The Saints trying to rock up these conference championships in the same week. We still have eight seconds to play. We're going to let these final few seconds tick down. UMF trying to find that second goal. Not going to find it, though. Now down to two seconds. And your Saints Varsity Rocket League team is going to be the NACE Star League Eastern Conference champions. They will knock off UMF in a 4 nothing sweep. They will make that top 16 guaranteed. And a beautiful job. Kamal, Quint, Christian, and Spoods. Fantastic job. This team has come together so well the last few weeks. And now adding conference championships to their resume. Yeah. 4 nothing sweep in the conference championship. Not to mention probably 85 shots coming yeah. through from the team total. Two of those games, absolute nail-biter yep. overtime game. The first one, crazy scoring <laughs> game. 4-3 ending. And then we continue to see 2-1. 2-1, or I think one of them might have been 1-0 if I'm yeah, not mistaken. Yeah, 1-0, 1-0, 2-1, yeah. and then 3-1, and then... with the 3 coming at the very, very end. Yeah, I, just such low-scoring games, and UMF, you can't feel wow. bad about that one. You played your heart out, and it was really just that little edge, those little opportunities yeah. that were able to give the Saints their victory today. Yeah, much like football, Rocket League is very much a game of inches. And St. Clair, luckily today, just had, like you said, able to find those openings, create those angles. We saw that last goal. That was probably the best goal the Saints had the entire series. Not a more footing, fitting one to close it out. All three members getting a touch on the ball there yeah. and bearing that one, no mistake. So exactly the way they wanted to end it. Although, yeah, they had to work for that. When you see that 4 nothing scoreline, don't just look past that score. This was by far. Yeah. This had the potential you, to be a seven-game series very, very easily. You got to watch the VOD to get yeah. the true <laughs> story of of this game because third game went nine minutes yeah. long. I mean, we haven't seen that. I don't think I've ever cast it in overtime. For me, that long. it might have been six months. Yeah, it easily, easily since seasons yeah. ago. It's just 
Wow, what a great Rocket League game we got to watch. Yeah, fantastic job. Rocket League Saturdays, yet again, being good to us. They came second in CCA last week. NACE Conference Champions today. And with that being said, speaking of CCA next week, we're going to give you guys a quick rundown of the schedule as far as the broadcasts are going to go this coming week. So Monday, going to be Valorant against Carlton. Should be a great series. Carlton always plays us tough in Valorant. Back-to-back -back League of Legends, Tuesday and Wednesday. Varsity against Maryland on Tuesday. Academy League, I believe, potentially first time on stream Definitely against Southern New Hampshire. And then Halo Infinite finally coming to the college broadcast. Going to be the Academy team. Logan and the boys suiting up finally going to be on stream in College Halo. And then Friday, we're going to have Rocket League Academy against U Ottawa, followed by CR6. I'm not sure of the opponent quite yet. And then Saturday, again, not listed. CCA Open number two. So the Saints looking to rack up even more points, get into those CRL last chance qualifiers. And I mean, this was a great stepping stone toward that weekend. Yeah, a lot of Academy on the schedule yeah. as well. We've got three days straight of Academy and then a double header Academy Friday, yeah. which is going to be a great oh, time. Yeah. I think, I hope you're in there. We I get am. to do I some R6 again, run it back because we talked about this yesterday. That team is on a tear right yep. now, and we caught the one game yep. they lost, which is absolutely <laughs> brutal. But can't wait to see yep. how that team has grown since the first week yep. because they have yet to drop a series again. Yeah, every single team performing at a high level. You can tell it's playoff season around the Nexus. Everybody is super excited. All the teams are doing so well. But with that being said, that does conclude our stream for today. So we want to thank everybody for watching, all the supporters. We know the Rocket League, Mama Spoods, and everybody else always super supportive of the boys. So they're going to need it going forward. They got CCA next week. Still have some work to do in NECC as well. But with that being said, we thank you guys all so, so much. Enjoy your Halloween. Enjoy your Saturday. And thank you for tuning in. Start off from pressure, but this defense has been very good from the Saints to just clear it out every time. Not really allow many opportunities to even get started. Just taking these slow clears and playing with that one goal lead, but not Christian and Kamal. As well, already trying to get one started here. He's not going to let it happen just yet, but oh. so much... No contention on this ball, and that's what happened. Now, when those balls are popped up above the crease, it's one of the hardest plays to make in Rocket League to find that save. It's so hard to get a read on the ball. Parma gonna demo from all there off the kickoff. Michigan with attacking again, and as all time takes down. It's always the limiting factor in Rocket League. That five minute timer now moving to a minute 40 left, and Saints yet to really get anything started other than that initial start they had right off the post. Seems to clear yes. it out, but come all. There you go. It seems here. They only have 28 seconds to try to make something happen here. And Michigan Flint doing a great job of just sending this ball deep into the corner, wasting that 10, 15 seconds, taking to the skies, letting the ball drop off. Christian, though, from the skies, gonna get the shot. Rebound's Kamal. gonna come through, and Kamal's gonna be the man. Pass gonna get there. Quint not gonna find the angle. Bar down. Ball's not, still not gonna go in three. Saints taking a crack at it. Nothing doing just yet. Quint gonna be there for the second touch again. Christian gonna follow. Still not quite on target. The Saints are firing away at this net. Just not able to break through yet. Yeah, the pressure is still set up. Kamal off the oh. crossbar once again. Azzle, beautiful save. Great way to put your car in the way there. Christian. Oh my goodness. Oh my lord. How many shots have we seen from the Saints in this 40 second overtime? Fuck. Door closed over and over by Michigan Flint so far. How is this game 0-0? Zero, zero? I have no idea. We're a minute 25 left in this game, ladies and gentlemen, and already there's been nothing on the board. Probably eight or nine shots already from the Saints. A few coming through for Michigan Flint as well, but Michigan has been perfectly fine just playing this defense, keeping the shutouts, and then taking the one or two solid shots they can when they can, and there's the first one. Gotta be such a close series, such a close game coming through once again. Shots, I want to say they're, they might even be more on the side of University of Michigan. Into a plus 20 left in the game. Quint, does a pass come out? Irma oh. just barely gets in there. The demo comes oh. through, and the save went. Gonna be the aggressor. Perma is gonna win that 50 though. Gonna get the second touch. Might be able to find the net. Christian gonna dig that one out at the last possible second. Trying to keep the Saints alive here with 45 seconds to go. Perma has really been the catalyst whoa, in this whoa. game here. What? Uh, Christian sending it high. Can you get the pass to Quint off? Good. Oh, Perma. And the game Jeez. itself coming into here. And you can just see I mean, how strong both of these teams yeah. are. This is this is a mental battle as much oh, yeah. as it is mechanical. At this point, though, the Saints finally break. Over to Kamal.
ball. They're setting out up towards the middle. Here's Quint from the skies. Not a lot of boost though. Does get the reset. Not going to find the back of the net though, Kamal. Not going to get that second touch as well. Christian hopefully wins this 50. Not a lot of Saints back toward the net there. Kamal going to have to make a play here. And he's not there going to be able to. Still has possession. Trying to play that face change game. Pass will be intercepted over the middle. No, that Quint there to follow. Only 20 boosts to play with. Going to find the first touch. Not going to be able to find the second. What are the Saints is going to though? And it's going to be Christian. Christian going to get the shot. Just wide left of the net. Perma going to be the one to play it next. It looks like it's going to be a Gimzarazzo. Quint waiting in the wings. Kamal, once again, a little back and forth here. Both these teams realizing how close this is. Kamal and Quint, though, hooking up for the gold lead. Kamal and Christian still just working this ball in the corner, keeping it in there, running this clock down. UMF going to have to try to make something happen relatively soon. Kamal going to win the 50 out of the air. Ball is just going to miss the net. Quint and Christian, though, over the middle. Beautiful play. Oh.